Do you love learning about animals? Me too. Today we're going to learn all about Lucas the spider and his friends. Are you ready? Let's go. First up is Lucas the spider. Lucas has eight legs. That's right, eight. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Don't count his little grabbers in the middle. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. And you know what else? Some spiders can even use their legs to taste food. How cool is that? Lucas has four eyes, but some spiders can have six or even eight. Can you point to your eyes? Very good. Most spiders spin webs, but Lucas is a jumping spider. He doesn't need a web because he can jump really far. Jumping spiders can jump from your toes all the way to your chest. Let me see how far you can jump. Ready? Go! Wow, that's pretty far. Good job! Next up is Finley the fly. Flies have big round eyes that let them see all around them all at once, even behind them. Finley has tiny hairs on his legs that let him stick to almost anything. He can walk on the ground, the walls, or even the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Flies don't have any teeth, so they use their mouths to suck up food like a straw. They'll eat almost anything, even garbage. It might be just trash to us, but for Finley, it's a yummy treat. Now it's time for Bodie, the chameleon. Chameleons can change colors to match where they are or how they're feeling, so they can be all different colors. When they're happy, they turn green. What's your happy color? Ooh, I like that one. Chameleons use their long tongues to catch food. Their tongues can move faster than you can blink your eyes. Now that's really fast. I bet you can't stick out your tongue that fast. Whoa. Next up is our furry friend, Avocado. Avocado is a French bulldog. There are lots of kinds of dogs in the world with all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Dogs have much better hearing than we do. Their ears can hear everything from little bugs moving to the birds outside. Dogs can also move their ears in all different directions. Can you try to move your ears without touching them? After a lot of playing, dogs love to take naps. And they have dreams when they sleep, just like you and me. What do you think Avocado dreams about? Now it's time for Maisie the bumblebee. When bumblebees want to talk to each other, they do a little bumble dance. They can dance to tell each other all kinds of things, like where to fly to next, or where they can find food when they're hungry. Can you show me your hungry dance? Wow, you must be really hungry. Bumblebees fly from flower to flower looking for food to eat. And as they go, they carry a special powder called pollen from one flower to the next. This helps new flowers grow all around the world. Some of our food is made this way too. Bees are so helpful and amazing. Up next is our feathered friend, Arlo the Owl. Owls are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and stay up all night. That's one long nap. And owls have big round eyes that help them see in the dark. That's pretty cool. And now let's learn about our fishy friend, Dimples. Do you go to school yet? Fish do. A big group of fish is called a school. Fish have gills on the sides of their heads to help them breathe underwater. Their brains aren't very big compared to the size of their bodies, but that's okay. Dimples makes up for it by being really funny. Why did the shark blush? <laughs> I don't know. Because he saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> also sharing the fish tank is our friend Wee Biscuit. He's a seahorse. Seahorses don't swim like normal fish. Their fins let them move in any direction. They can also use their tail to grab onto things when the waters get rough. That's awesome! Wow, we learned so much today. Let's look back at all the amazing animals we learned about. We have Lucas the spider, Finley the fly, Bodie the chameleon, Avocado the dog, Maisie the bumblebee, Arlo the owl, Dimples the fish, 
and Wee Biscuit the Seahorse. Which one is your favorite? For more of Lucas and his friends, watch Lucas the Spider on Cartoonito. <laughs>